C'est étrange. Je ne sais pas ce qui m'arrive ce soir. Je te regarde comme pour la première fois. The world has, in a very short time, become hyper aware of Supreme and the surrounding culture, but only from the outside. Fans care about legitimacy, but most people can't see the difference. I wanted to explore that. I started to wonder, what makes something fake? Why do people care? Is it about the wearer? Is it about the product? Does it even matter? Part of the issue with fake streetwear is that people buying replica goods aren't part of the community. Their dollars don't support Supreme, and they're almost inherently culture vultures. Buying and wearing a fake Supreme tee is just a grab at the status of owning one without caring about authentically representing the brand. Supreme started as a brand for skaters, plain and simple. So whether you skate or not, strutting around in replica merch just isn't part of the culture. At the same time though, a lot of real Supreme fans are doing basically the same thing. Sure, they're buying legit tees, but when was the last time you saw one of them actually skate? The clothing they're buying is legit, but they themselves aren't. They're in it for the fashion, the image, the status, and that's fine. Regardless of what anyone says, you don't have to skate to wear Supreme. But if you don't know the culture on at least some level, it's kind of like wearing a Thrasher tee without having heard of the Hall of Meat. Just because you saw Jay Beebs do it, that doesn't make it right. So where does that leave us? If you're a non-skater buying legit tees only for fashion, is that just as fake as a core skater who rides in replica merch? At this point, as far as I'm concerned, the classic box logo tee is played out. I don't care how core you are. If you're rocking a pristine, uncracked, red on white box logo tee, the rest of the world isn't going to see style or culture. They're going to see status. You want to fuck it up, crack the bogo, wear it inside out, backwards, stitch it into a cape, or do something else new and then rock it? Style. Culture. Originality. Cool. So, I started fake. I really wanted to dive deeply into the dichotomy of real and fake, to try to get at the core of fashion, streetwear, all of that. I wanted to explore what makes something, or someone, legit. In theory, the point of wearing fake streetwear is to deceive others into believing that you have the money or influence to get your hands on the real thing, right? But fake doesn't replicate. Fake reveals itself. It doesn't try to be convincing. It tells you outright that the shirt isn't legit. And it doesn't even do it with the classiness of a screen print. It's spray painted right on top of the logo. If the point of a replica tee is to look legit on the outside, is fake still a knockoff? Holy sh! I don't know. Really, it's up to interpretation, just like Supreme itself. Because ultimately, a brand isn't defined by its creator. It's defined by the people it represents. One last thing before I go. Fake isn't just a t-shirt. Instead, I created fake as a wearable art collection. There's one fake hoodie, an embroidered box logo with hand-stitched felt patches across it, and one fake sculpture, a hard-as-rock, plaster-dipped, hand-painted shirt on a custom welded steel hanger. I'm selling both, but the prices are set just to break even on material cost. As for the shirt, right now, mine is the only one that exists and I'll only be making 19 more. If you want one, I'll make it by hand, because this isn't a streetwear line. It's a collection of artwork. Everything is available at fauxpreme.net, and I'm also making the fake stencil available to download for free. If nothing else, remember this. Fake is unique, because it doesn't make a statement. Instead, it asks a question. <laughs>